Here's how to fix the iPhone always on display if it's not working. Now, if you turn your iPhone off, but the always on display is just not working, maybe the wallpaper is not showing up, maybe the clock is not showing up, or maybe it's completely black and not working at all, I'm gonna walk you through some steps to get that fixed. So let's first hop into your settings here. We're just gonna scroll down until we get to display and brightness. Now, if I scroll down again, you can see towards the bottom there is always on display and it says always on display dims the lock screen while keeping information like your time widgets, notifications visible using minimal power. So let's tap on that and turn it on. So if it is already turned on, you might want to just toggle it off and then turn it back on. It does say this display will turn off automatically to save battery life when not in use. So let's turn on show wallpaper and notifications, but it does give us a hint here. If it's not working for you, it could be because you just don't have a lot of battery life left. So there are two things to check. One is swipe down from the top right, and you're gonna check to see your battery health at the top right. So you can see I have 73%. If you have something like 10%, it might turn off or disable that always on display just to help preserve your battery life. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your do not disturb or, no, or your uh, focus modes right here, and you're gonna to wanna to turn those off. Basically, the do not disturb or focus modes will to prevent any kind of notifications, any kind of display being shown on that always on display. So make sure both of those are turned on, make sure you have enough battery life. And then of course, this isn't available for every single iPhone. So you need a newer iPhone for this to even be a feature that you can toggle on. So go through this entire process and then you should be able to turn off your phone and then always see that display, the time, the wallpaper, and any notifications. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.